All right, I just want to quickly test the latest release of Premiere Pro 2015, uh, CC 2015. The uh, the first release was full of various kind of bugs on the timeline. When you were dragging things across the timeline, the CPU usage was sky high and there was a big massive lag, which was made it really confusing to work with. Uh, but they released yesterday or last night, 2015.0.1, uh, that's a uh, 9... 0.1 build 36 and I want to just quickly try it and see whether there have been any improvements so let's just open a very quick uh, project untitled of course that already exists because it's the one that it was default to I'm just going to import some mm, some media into here that will do uh, in fact that will do hold on a second some there we go interesting flowers wow they're good but it doesn't matter in this case they're 720 720p footage actually uh, but it is for 50 frames a second and i would have had the problem with that type of footage i'll make sure this is on full here and in fact let's let's import a couple of these wow look at that see now that is what i would that's what i would kind of expect from scrolling through a timeline with this type of clip, these type of clips that are on a hard drive. So the main area I was having problems with was simply moving a clip across the timeline like that. That is, so far, that seems to be a lot better. What about trimming? Let's try trimming this clip. Is, let's see if we've got composite. Okay, so composite um, composite preview during trim is off, uh, which, is, which does slow things down a bit, but uh, that, okay, brilliant. But I'm also going to just do something on this clip because there's no no effects on this at all at the moment. So I'm just going to put on, I'm just going to sharpen it up, add in some contrast and some shadows and cool it down a bit or something. doesn't matter. And let's have a look. So that's fine. Scrolling through is fine. Brilliant. I mean, these are really quick tests but this is all it would have taken to make it fall over uh, so i'm just going to bring up the task manager quickly as well and see the kind of usage we've got here these are sort of finicky things to look at but when you're working with a program it really is make or break because it slows your work down like an incredible amount right so yeah that looks a lot a lot lot better since that release yesterday don't know for sure if that's the reason, but to me, that's a massive improvement. Let me know your thoughts and let me know if you're seeing any improvements as well. Uh, I'm really interested to know if they have genuinely fixed this because uh, that's a big deal because the CC 2015 is such a wonderful upgrade. Other than that, I really don't want to lose this uh, this color color. Uh, window now this color panel it's just wonder just great to work with and i was like thinking oh, i'm gonna have to go back to 2014 and lose this but uh, hopefully not hopefully that is now resolved and i'm really interested to hear what your experiences are as well